Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tracy and um, if you're new here, um, you're new to my channel, you're so welcome. Um, I mostly just do motivational videos for every day because, you know, I want to help as many people as possible, you know, discover their potential and yeah. I know how important it is to just find someone who knows what you're going through. So I I went through a lot of shit actually, but I never had anyone to talk to or anyone to advise me or something like that. Or actually no one to understand. See, people can advise you, but so long as they have not gone through what you've gone through, they cannot really get it like the weight of the situation so yeah i'm guessing you're here because you want to know how i started my business with only two dollars which is 200 shillings kenya shillings because you know i'm kenyan and yeah um yeah so let me just get straight to the point one thing that i have learned through my journey of using the law of attraction is start with start where you are and start with what you have so i looked at my situation, you know, I had been kicked out of the house that I was unable to pay 5,000 shillings a month. I was um, unable to pay that. Imagine. Just imagine. I was living a very shitty li life, actually. Um, so, um, I looked at my hands and I was like, okay, so what do I have? I have a phone. Okay. I have a phone. And honestly, in this day and age, so long as you have a phone you can make it trust me <laughs> do not do not even try even at one moment to limit the universe the universe's ability to make something out of what you have so i looked at what i had and i and i realized i only had 200 shillings in my hands and i've always loved to be an entrepreneur and i have take it has taken me like three or four years to actually find my niche because i feel like i have always been like the type of people who i, I do this i stop i do this i stop i do this i stop and i learn pretty fast like i'm that person who like if it's putting lashes, I will make sure I try it, I try it, I try it until I get um the, the a visual type of person. I learn very quickly, especially with visually, you know. I can watch you braid someone's hair and then I will braid someone's hair and three tries in I'm good, you know. So I, I've always been learning throughout the four years and now I know what works. So this is what happened. I had 200 shillings in my pocket at the time. And I remember thinking, you want to tell me today if I go and I buy four lipsticks, I won't come back home with money. Because I was tired. I was just tired. Like, you know, you just reach that place that you're like, you know what? This is a very shit. Like, I do not want to live this life anymore. So I went and I got a place that they were selling these lipsticks for wholesale um, at 45 shillings each. Did I wanna... It was 40 shillings each wholesale. So I remember I went and I bought four of them. And they said I am going to go and sell these lipsticks at 300 shillings each. And that's what I... Actually, that's what I did. So I went around town. And I remember I, I, I went from my house. I went to town at about noon. And I remember I had I reached there about an hour later. So about 2 p.m. I had four lipsticks in my hands and no fear to go back home. I want you guys to understand the gravity of this situation. Okay. I have used everything. The 200 shillings, it's gone. Because you remember I used fear to go to town. So I had nothing. Zero shillings. Zero. And I had four lipsticks in my hand. And I said, you know what? You want to tell me if I if I put it in my mind, I'm going to sell these lipsticks. I'm not going to sell them. And let me tell you something. There is no salon in that Nairobi that I did not pass through. I entered the salons. I went at the boutiques. I went and I just, I had a lot of psych actually. I was just going, I, I talked to so many people and I was just making fun, you know, and giving away my contacts and giving, I used to tell them I'm selling human hair. And that time I was not even selling human hair. So long story short, I went home with like 10 contacts and I went home with 300 times 4 is 1200. I went home with 200 shillings. Now the next day I went to town now with 200 shillings again I bought other four lipsticks and like that, like that, like that. 
until a month had ended and I had enough money to pay for my house, to pay a few debts, and that's how I started. And that made me think, okay, wait, so what have I been doing my whole life? You want to tell me whatever I really just put my mind into it, I will do it. I feel like sometimes we play the victim so much or we are afraid of jumping, of taking risks so much that we become lazy. If you want to become an entrepreneur, you really you really just have to say fuck it. You know, like you you really just have to be daring because life of an entrepreneur is not a straight line, it's more of a zigzag type of thing. You know, I feel like people in an office are even lazy. I'm sorry to just say that, but I feel like people who are in an office are you they have a specific, like this monotonous type of life, they know at the end of the month they're going to get what they're going to get. But ours it's like it's not certain we can make a hundred thousand, that is a thousand dollars this month, next month is twenty, next month is this or something. But that really taught me that you know what, if you really do want to become success successful, even though you have fifty dollars in your pocket, make a decision because the universe usually listens to someone who has reached a decision you know like the way i told myself today i will go back home with zero lipsticks and i did not have money so that meant i had to sell them okay can you imagine like i did not have money it is in the evening people are tired i didn't know at that point i didn't even put so many things in my subconscious i just knew i'm going to sell them so i went everywhere telling people stories i went and i laughed with so many people and i took their contacts is to tell oh yes if you want to arrest people <laughs> i have something to give you and i didn't even have it you know and i didn't even have anything but i got so many contacts 10 contacts and i sold them so that made me think you know, i've just been sitting down in my house and i had the capability to do this so now these days i don't stop like really i'll go to a bank i'll go and I'll tell people oh yeah but they sell earrings i sell clothes i sell dresses i make sure all those ladies they know me because if you really want to make it, you can make it even though you have $10 in your pocket. Go buy something and say, at the end of this day, I will have sold it, even though it is profit of a thousand percent. That's how an entrepreneur, being an entrepreneur is so sweet. Because once you put something in your mind, like you say, I'm going to buy 10 bottles of this cream, you know, and I'm going to have sold them by next week. Trust me, by next week, you'll have sold them. Because what happens is you... you your mind doesn't start calculating ways which you will not sell. Your mind starts calculating ways in which you can sell. And that's what you want. You know, because the minute you just stay, you're like, oh my God, I, I don't have money. You keep telling yourself that and believing it. You will end up not having money. And we don't want that. So whatever the money that you have, buy whatever you can buy and just go. Ladies, we are impulse buyers. They will literally buy anything out of the blues. Go to salons. Go talk to people. Don't say you're shy. Do you really want to make it? If the answer is yes, then you have to go. You know, make your, make yourself proud. That is the only thing. Don't even worry about people. Just say, okay, fine. You know what? I'm going to go today. I'm going to get two bottles of cream because that's what I can afford. And by the end of today, they, I won't have them. Because now you'll have a, you'll be supercharged. You'll have that energy. You'll just go and you'll just sell them, and then you'll be happy because they're, they're, oh my goodness! So it's possible. Then tomorrow morning you'll be there. You'll buy stock, more stock, more money, and you'll end up being a successful entrepreneur. But you just have to put yourself aside, get yourself out of the way fast. You know that's what I did. So it's possible. And at the end of the month, I had made $500, you know, and $500 is 50,000 Kenya shillings. At that time, you can imagine. So you guys, it's very possible. You just, you, it's not even about believing in yourself. Set a goal, achieve it, you know, and leave the universe to just take care of the rest. Because that one day that you have gone and talked to 10 people, yeah, and you've sold products, tomorrow you'll go to buy stock, but you'll be having people calling you. And you see how ladies are. When you hold, when you catch one lady, let me just use the word catch. Because if you sell lipstick or hair to one lady, that lady has friends, right? So when you hold one lady or you catch one lady, you've really caught one lady plus her friends, plus her mom, plus her mom's friends. So you see, you'll always have customers. Or if you're a guy, whatever play, whatever thing, even though it's electronics, 
whatever you have in your hands right now use it stop saying oh i don't want to start a youtube channel because i don't have a camera use your phone okay upload your videos might go viral you don't know upload and keep uploading you know until you have enough money to buy a camera you know don't don't stop yourself you know you, you look at yourself and feel like oh, you know what i actually have because you can promote your pages in facebook with one dollar okay you have that one dollar promote your pages and just know out of that one dollar because one dollar i think the rich is 500 people just know from that 500 people universe bring me even three people who will buy and it will happen but you just have to know my previous video says stop wondering you have to start knowing set limits for yourself you're the only one who is going to you know don't set a limit i say don't set a limit okay because in business there's no really limit you can go it depends on the market price too but you can put whatever price you want so i hope this video was helpful and yeah i will talk to you guys next time bye